Hi, my name is Travis Robbins. And I'm Todd Robbins. Uh, we are both physical therapists and also twin brothers. Uh, we opened up our own private practice uh, about 10 years ago in the Lehigh Valley with offices in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And as we've kind of grown a little bit over the past 10 years, we've, you know, originally just wanted to try to keep our offices open. And now we've kind of changed our perspective, uh, what our goals want to be. So our big goal is to change physical therapy, change what physical therapy is in the United States. What we're going to talk about today starts at the physical therapist level, which is a great place to start. We're going to talk about five essentials to becoming a better physical therapist. And the great thing is, is that you guys can start doing this stuff today. Okay, essential number one, realize your impact. Okay, so when you go into your doctor's office, how much time do you get to spend with your doctor? Somewhere around 10 minutes. Every doctor's office is different, but if you were to ask most people, they probably spend somewhere around 10 minutes with their doctor. What happens in physical therapy? In physical therapy, you see us for somewhere around an hour, and our average length of stay in our clinic is around 10 visits. So that adds up to 600 minutes. So where do you have more chance of having an impact on a patient's life? In 10 minutes or in 600 minutes? The answer is simple. It's not doctor's fault. That's the way the system is set up, but in general, time is impact. It just depends on how you use it. All right, essential number two. Put yourself in your patient's shoes. Right now, in our current medical system, this is the path that patients travel. They start out healthy, they have an injury, they go to their primary care doctor, maybe they get there within a couple weeks, okay? and maybe that doctor gives them medicine. You know, it used to be take two of these and call me in the morning. Now it's take all of these and come back and see me in a month. What happens a lot of the time is, uh, you know, that doesn't work great. So then they said, oh, hey, I'm gonna go to an ortho consult. Maybe you get in there another four weeks, we're up to 10 weeks now. Uh, nothing happens at the ortho consult because they can't find out exactly what's going on. You get sent to imaging. Okay, you have an MRI or an x-ray. Let's take a look in there and see what's going on. Another, you know, while we're up to 11 weeks, uh, then like you go back to your doctor. Now it's 13 weeks, and then like, well, hey, let's try physical therapy. Now it's 14 weeks later, and you can see the person here that is at the end. This is who's coming in our office. We want to change this in the future, but this is who's coming in our office right now. And of course, you can see that money has been spent all along this way. So these people are defeated. They're disappointed. They feel failed by the healthcare system. This is where we can change this and turn this around if we put ourselves in our patient's shoes. Okay, essential number three is get out of the bucket. So there's an old proverb that says, if you put one crab in a bucket, it can easily get out. If you put a lot of crabs in a bucket, as crabs try to get out of the bucket, all the other crabs will try to pull that crab that's trying to get out of the bucket back in. So the mindset is, if I can't have it, you can't either, or misery loves company, however you want to put it. But basically, when you get out of PT school, when I got out of PT school, I was excited. I went to PT school, and no matter what anybody says to tell people on um, interviews, you got into PT because you wanted to help people, right? So you get out of PT school, you're one of the crabs, you get thrown into whatever bucket that you get thrown into, whatever job you take first. And what happens is, depending on how that bucket is formulated, the people that are in it, it's gonna really dictate how good you can become as a PT. Todd and I like to really try to think that we have a really great bucket that we have PTs in, but we've only got a few of them. We've gotta spread those number of buckets out where you can really grow and be a great professional. So if, if you're getting out of school and you get into a bucket where, <laughs> it's not the best learning environment, you've got to get out. There's a couple ways that you can get out. You can try to do the best you can, read research, you know, go to clean education courses, be a better PT and try to lift the other crabs that are in that bucket up. If that doesn't work, you've got to get out. You've got to get out in the form of finding another bucket and a different job. You can get out in the form of making another bucket like Todd and I did. When we got out of school, we had various jobs. I worked for a huge physical therapy conglomerate, over 600 clinics across the country. I had a manager, I saw him twice in the nine months that I was there. The two meetings I had with him were to tell me that I needed to bill more and that I needed to see more patients. I knew that wasn't going to be the best place for me. So I looked around to try to find some other kind of productive bucket, couldn't find it. I was 24, I decided, hey, I'm young, I don't have a huge mortgage, no kids, I can eat bologna and cheese for a while before I figure this out, started my own practice. In the process of doing that, over the last 10 years, we've grown it to something great and now we're trying to grow it even further 
with this program. So basically, we can show you the way to get out of your bucket. On to essential number four. Put your oxygen mask on first. For all of us that have uh, been on a plane before, when the flight attendant gives emergency instructions and they say, if our uh, flight experiences any trouble, oxygen mask will fall from the ceiling. And then what do you do? You put it on your kid first. No, you have to put your own oxygen mask on first so that you can then help other people in your house and the assistance. Physical therapy is the same way, okay? If you are gonna, you know, sell strong and healthy, you have to be strong and healthy, okay? You have to learn more about things like nutrition, fitness, you know, like about how to take care of yourself because no one wants to get advice from the physical therapist that's limping around the clinic or that is overweight. You know, these are important things that our patients are gonna pick up. And remember, we have a unique opportunity. We get a whole hour with these patients. We don't just fix their ankle. We have an opportunity to talk to them about health concerns, nutrition, smoking, other habits that are bad for them, and really improve their overall lives. But in order to do that, you have to take care of yourself first. You have to put your oxygen mask on first. On to essential number five, which is decide today. Guys, we gave you tons and tons of great information, but if you don't do the stuff that we tell you to do, you can't help us accomplish our goals of changing physical therapy. So, one, realize your impact. Two, put yourself in your patient's shoes. Three, get out of the bucket. Four, put your oxygen mask on first. Decide today, today. essential number five. So, how can you do that? One. Click here so that we can get your email in our database and keep you updated on this project. Visit our website here so you can find out more information about what we're doing and how we're progressing. Finally, check us out on Facebook and give us a like. Guys, I really want to thank you for the time that you spent with us today. Again, I'm Todd Robbins. I'm Travis Robbins. And remember, get better, decide today.